In our last video, we picked up very basics of Video Copilot's amazing plugin called Saber and quickly made some outline tracers and chasers. This time we will get them synchronized to BPM so that you can tap the tempo and match with the performing artist live. Here, let me explain why we need to have a steady drum loop behind the loop we are making, especially if we are making animation based on meaningful music. This embedded audio inside video will help Resolume to use it as BPM sync. Let me drop a WAV file on top of a video file to demonstrate what's happening here. So if we turn into this BPM sync, this audio will be considered as a whole 120 BPM going on here. So if we tap from here, resync, then we are synced, at least this visual is. Let's dive into After Effects and open the project we were working last time. Let's drop our 120 BPM drum loop into our comp. You can get the file from the link given in the description below. Remember, in last video we made, it takes 16 seconds for 120 BPM music loop, say, for example, drums, to complete two measures. Since we made all our compositions with 16 seconds of duration, the audio shall fit perfectly if we drop inside the comp. And since we are already inside After Effects and got chance, let's make simple project we made to one step complex. If you are liking this video, hit a like, maybe subscribe as well. So let's customize our outline animation too. Let's drop the audio here. We are widgets, so we need something visual guide. So let's press L twice to have the waveform. Let's drag the audio above. Let's see or hear what's going on here. So let's select Saber, press M for masks. Let's select all the masks. Press delete to get rid of all of them. Let's just turn this off for now. Let's lock the layer bottom. This time we're gonna draw a crazy mask because we can. Not all the outlines have to be outlines. Some can be some weird lines. Maybe our outlines goes Zap, 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 like this. Why not? Maybe we can have similar crazy zip zap. Stay with me. It's gonna look less crazy in a moment. Let's turn this on. Hey, this looks good. Let's change the preset to something interesting. Let's say this should be a zap. How does zap look? No, no, that doesn't look good. Let's try something. Velocity. Looks, looks bad. Let's do neon. Neon was fine. Let's try our neon to something. Like this. So let's scrub for a while. To see what's going on let's say for work let's reduce the quality to quarter quality so that we can work faster so this looks good so we want to have the full zap section like this let's select this layer and press u for our active keyframes here we're gonna select this keyframe and push it and maybe move it to four seconds so whatever happens happens between four seconds then everything goes slow let's see what happens maybe too slow let's edit these two keyframes maybe this time I want to have three times spinning within this keyframe and this keyframe must be edited to three times again. Let's see what happens. A lot of things happens within four seconds, but nothing happens. Rest 12 seconds. You can do billions of other creative things if you noodle inside this plugin. Before rendering, let's see what are the variation I have made quickly for this demonstration. 
let's take a look at this one switch this looks good all right what's this one this one is a basic chaser this one is a zap like chaser that i'm gonna put in piano mode and hit it once or twice not all the time this one is a decent build this one is a tracer this one is also a build this one gradually ends up in making building up the whole outline this one is a very awesome DJ booth like zap outline you don't have to do outlines with outlines you can do crazy stuff with outlines as well you can go out of outline as well now let's render this video pressing ctrl shift slash let's send it to q to ame means adobe media encoder let's go faster render it out and drop it in resolute so we have our render files here let's dive into resolume let's go to preferences by hitting control comma or command comma let's make sure we have our midi controller connected here let's go to defaults make sure all our defaults are in bpm synced because we are gonna stay bpm synced let's open all the files we rendered drag them down here we're gonna sort them out as per their need let's see what's happening here this one is a chaser we might want them on the layer above this one is a zap okay this is great let's put them in the third layer this one is okay let's try this one in the bottom layer let's see what else we have here we have a zap for layer 3 this one is supposed to be a build yeah this is a build let's drag it to first layer let's make a copy let's pause the second copy let's hold it paused for the last frame so this one let's select this let's change the autopilot i can't see any autopilot here let's look for autopilot here let's change autopilot this video i want it to be playing the next clip after it's finished the second one stays like that so let's check this one is a tracer material this goes the top layer this one is also a build let's drag it to our layer one let's hold control drag it to right to make a copy this one i want it to be paused at the last frame again this one i go to autopilot change play next clip so if i play this one like this this builds up the scene All these things are happening in BPM Sync so that you can tap the tempo. So this plays the next clip. So we're done. Let's check what's happening with these clips. This one is a crazy one. Oh yeah. Let's put this this one into let's put this three into piano mode. Let's Turn on the bit, turn off the bit snap so that we can just snap anytime we want. Let's get these clips faster. Maybe this one I want faster like this. Maybe this one goes taka taka. That's okay. How about this one? This one is fine as long as it listens to me. So we can just play this one and blend with this one. Sometimes we can go like this. Let's turn on our audio control. Let's make sure all our audio tracks are turned down or else there's gonna be a lot of sound like this. Or you could just work putting them on. No bad, right? 
all right let's quickly midi map by pressing ctrl shift m or command shift m let's quickly map the midi balance like this maybe go ta 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 okay i could just work with this maybe this that's okay i just want to turn them off like this how about map the feeders to this oh no like this i must be able to turn off my master let's map our tap to maybe this one maybe racing to this one these two buttons are very important for now so we can always go so we are on bpm so let's do some demo all right so before we dive into demonstration let's make sure our composition bit snap is set to half bar maybe for this one let's have a free music for this demonstration let's hear the music and look for the tempo okay so it goes like this one two three go ray sync so we turn on down our layer and turn on this saber slowly fading hey that looks good how about we hit the second one this looks good nice We're waiting for a eight moment so that we can just tiki 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 tak tiki 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 tak or like this tiki 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 tak tiki 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 ah nice. Well, let's turn everything down and maybe slowly fade. Let's hit. Aha, aha. You can go all night with sabers and tracers like this. So, I really hope this video could simplify this advanced trick full of minor tips and tricks. Please ask your question in the comment below if I missed anything. If you feel like this video was helpful for you, keep an eye on this channel.